Hey, what's up, guys? It's Brian. Welcome back to part five of our Porto career mode. And as you guys remember, we are playing our first game in the Champions League against Basel. And prior hand, I got a couple of things in the office, one of which was a proposition for me to be an international manager on the side, which is pretty cool. I can't wait to see what that's going to lead to. And also a press conference against Basel. And guess who I decided to praise? Yes, none other than Mark Janko. And with that, we were off on our first game. Let's do this, guys. Okay, guys, if you recall from last episode, a couple of players are away on international break and a couple have already come back. But still, the, the initial lineup is a lot of subs, one of which is the legendary Helton. Yes, Helton himself is starting in the goalkeeper today. I am pumped about it. Um, I know every Porto fan loves this guy, so I want to see what he can do. The game started out pretty boring to be honest, uh, it was more like possession play on Basil's part and I really couldn't get the ball away from them at all. And I, I'm not going to lie, my attack was pretty crappy too. Not to say that defensively Basil wasn't great because they were. But playing on a hard difficulty is already hard enough. Imagine playing on a hard difficulty with subs in the rain and having Osvaldo as your starting striker. I, I just can't do it. That is until Osvaldo was taken down in the penalty box in the 30th minute, which was pretty cool on his part because I got myself a penalty. Again, yes guys, I get a lot of penalties, but this one I wanted to make sure was taken with a legend. So guess what? Helton's taking this PK. And what is he going to do with it? He's going to smash it into the back of the net like any 37-year-old would. So legendary Helton makes it 1-0. The rest of the first half was the same old crappy possession play, and we headed off into the second half winning. Benfica was coincidentally winning against Man U, which I mean, I know Man U hasn't had the best of their years, but really, Benfica, come on, come on, FIFA. The second half, again, was a whole dreary old play. Um, I really couldn't make any attacks, and most of my players were getting really tired really easily, and the problem with that is, I don't know who to sub because these guys are already my subs, so there's really no one that can go in that can make any kind of impact on the game. It really sucks. At one point, Helton was just goofing around, you know, just almost got scored on. Uh, speaking of getting scored on, I got scored on in the 90th minute. <laughs> After all of this boring play, I let one in. Come on, Helton. And guys, as you could probably guess, it ended 1-1 in my first Champions League game. So guys, I wanted to make up for that 1-1 tie by doing something good in the league, playing Nacional up next, so we're going to try to win that game. But beforehand, I got myself the first offer to become an international manager, and who else but Finland to ask me. And without hesitation, I wanted to finish writing except on that transfer. Sorry for that bad joke, but still, I am the Finnish international coach right now, guys. Pumped about that, pumped about going into this game, gonna beat Nacional, so 
So let's go do that right now. Okay, so the lineup is back to normal, with an exception of Leon playing instead of Suzoko and Abubakar going back to starting striker. Oh, and Saw was also playing goalkeeper because I said, well, why not? And so started the first half. The first half actually kind of reminded me of the game I had just played. I was always in this kind of funk where I couldn't score and they couldn't score, so it was just a boring game of passing around. But around the 30th minute, for some reason, Nationale's goalkeeper went all the way out. And I thought, why not cross this and then get a great open netted goal? But no, there was no one to receive it. Silly me, I should have shot it because that's exactly what Nationale did to me. I had Sa, who is starting in goalkeeper, because I thought, why not have a sub goalie? And I got scored on right before halftime. So. Going into halftime with a vengeance here, guys. And by vengeance, I mean a lot of shots. Not to say that Nacional didn't have a lot of shots on me, but just take notice of how many chances I actually get, and none of them I can put away. I don't know if it's on bad or it's bad luck, but nothing was going my way this game. That is until the 90th minute where just like Basil got a goal, I got myself a PK thanks to Indre Indre. And who is going to take this PK? A sub reinforcement I had just made, good old Walter was going to take this PK. And what does he do with it? He scores it to save us from a loss, an embarrassing loss at that. And we get ourselves a tie, which isn't that great, but it's better than a loss. Everyone knows that. And so guys, I am saddened and disappointed that we just finished this episode with two 1-1 draws. And we just finished this episode going down to third place. Braga and Pastoreda are ahead of us. But guys, calm down. Sporting is in 7th. Benfica is in 10th. I think I got this. I just got to beat these teams up here. And they're not that big of competition. So I'm not too worried. Next episode... I will be in first. We'll hopefully get a Champions League game in there too and win that. So stay tuned. Peace.